song sung better than that. That was wonderful. Uh, before we close today, I wanted to recognize one very special person. Uh, this lady came, uh, has been involved with Bethesda for many, many years, but uh, <clears throat> she came here and a, a dozen years ago she started our hot, hot lunch program that your grandkids benefit from every day, and so do I. And uh, she started from scratch. We didn't have a, a, a hot lunch program with fresh food being prepared in a kitchen, but she started the program and has faithfully run it for a dozen years. And uh, we just want to recognize her. Today is her last day, and I'm very, very sad about that. But uh, we had, we had the students sign a banner for her, just expressing our thanks to Mrs. Corrine Baker. Would you please come forward? It says, with love and appreciation, Mrs. Baker, and then there's a verse on here. How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you? That's 1 Thessalonians 3, 9, but it's what we want to express to you. And all the kids have signed it, and we're just very, very thankful for you. I'm trying to pretend the sun's in my eyes, but I'm getting a little choked up at these kids singing this song. I am just so impressed with all of you. Um, I have to say, I've been working with children since I was about 21 as a teacher, and I really have never worked with kids as friendly and respectful as the kids at Bethesda. I'm so very proud of them. Um, students and I think this is Bradley we're up to 380 something like that 386 we took in all those kids in about four or five weeks this summer we're really happy for each and every one that attends Bethesda I'm so thankful that you're here today this is beautiful weather and I am reminded again and again the Lord will make a way for us to honor him and I believe you've really honored him with your songs and and with your participation with us today so thank you so much for coming I have a few things I'd like to, I have some gifts to give away. Um, so we have a little contest we're going to have. But the first thing I want to do is I would like for us to start by recognizing all of our veterans. If you're a veteran, would you please stand? and I have some prizes to give away. First of all, I want to find out what grandparent traveled from the farthest away. 
So raise your hand if you traveled from a different state. Okay, should we start with 100 miles away? Keep your hand up. Mm -hmm. 150 miles away. 200 miles away. All right, We're hanging in there. 300 miles away. 350 miles away. 400 miles away. 450 miles away. 500 miles away. How many hands do we still have up? We've still got, we still got three, four. Do I keep going, Mrs. Rule? One more, what was my last one, 500? Did I say 500? 500 miles away. 550? I feel like I'm in an auction. 600? 600 miles away? 650 miles away. 700 miles away. Please tell me we have enough prizes for who's left. <laughs> All right, anybody travel a thousand miles today? Nobody. Okay, I think we found our winners right here. Congratulations. the sun is shining <laughs> since you came from Florida. Um, we don't want to say, we really don't want to say the oldest person because I know it's a sensitive topic. And I got to be honest, some of you, when you came in, I thought, man, I hope I look like that when I'm a grandma. So I'm not a grandma yet, but I do have a daughter who married last December and she and her husband moved to Indianapolis. She took a job at IU without even telling me she was applying up here. She's down in Mississippi. They're building a house in Whitestown, and I went last weekend to look at the construction, and I prayed for my future grandchildren. It's never, it's never too early to start, is it? So, but I don't want to, I don't want to say who's the oldest, so here's how we're going to do this. I want to know which grandparent or great-grandparent has celebrated the most birthdays. Does that sound better? Okay. So let me have a hand if you're 50 or above. Mr. Campbell, raise your hand. All right, 55 and above, 60 and above, 65. I lost a few, 70, 75, 80, 81. 82, 83, I think we have our winner right here. Congratulations. Put your hand up and have a, we have a little gift for you. Right here, this gentleman on about the fourth row back. Okay, now I'd like to know about grandparents who have been married the longest. Grandparents who've been married the longest. That's, that's some, quite an accomplishment in this world today. So how many of you have been married 40 years or more? All right, 45 years or more. We have anybody that's been married 50 years? 55. Okay, do we have one right back here? Are you 55? Second row right here, we have, we have a 60. All right, right here on the second row, this young lady in the white jacket. I think she was blocking the sun, maybe. <laughs> but we also have a winner right here on the second row. 60 years, congratulations. Okay, and our last prize is for our longest living veteran. So those of you that stood just when we first started this, um, I want to know which veteran has celebrated the most birthdays. So do we have anybody who is a veteran who is 70 years old? 75. I think we found our winner quickly right back here. Congratulations. We still have three. Okay. Do we have enough? Should we keep going? Okay, so 76. We have the two now. Raise them up high. Be proud. We got one in the front row too. 77. 77. 78. We got one right here. 79, 80, 
Yeah. If we have two gifts and three people, they can come in and get a mug, a Bethesda mug, before they leave. On me. Okay, great. That was wonderful. Now, I just have a few little announcements before we end. These are some um, real quick logistical things. If you need to use the restroom before you get back on the road because you had your coffee this morning, there are some restrooms right in here. There's also one in the, one in the elementary office. We also have some t-shirts, grandparent t-shirts and mugs and decals and other things that are available for sale at the table at the front and also in the office. Um, what are some ways that you can help your grandchildren at Bethesda? One is to pray for them. Pray for them every single day. Every morning when you wake up, pray for your grandchildren. The onslaught of the enemy in the world is very real. And so if you will pray for us every single day, pray for their teachers, for their administrators, for our school families. Uh, we'd also love to have you come to our Parents in Prayer. We are happy to have grandparents at Parents in Prayer. It meets on eight, at 8.30 on Wednesday mornings inside of the elementary building. We also would welcome any donations. I had a grandmother come to me a couple weeks ago and say, your kids need some more iPads. Tell me how much they cost. And so I'm in dialogue with her about that. We also have a couple of donation boxes at the front if you would like to make a donation. If you want to buy something specifically that the school needs, you can contact the school office or email Mr. Campbell. He's got a list of things that we need and he can tell you. Uh, today we'd like to give you one small thing as you leave and that is an opportunity to have a photo with your grandchildren. So the way we're going to do this, the way we're going to do this is that we're going to start with the K-5 and first grade grandchildren since they're not sitting on the risers. They are going to come to you and we have two photo stations set up. And so there's one photographer, but she's gonna go back and forth very quickly. We can have different photos if there are different sets of grandparents here. But you'll be in the photo with your, grand with your grandchildren, and then we'll get those processed and we'll hand them out to your grandchild to bring home and to mail to you or to give to you. And I think they're gonna be beautiful. We've got some mums and hay bales and a wonderful photographer that I've heard great things about. And we appreciate her coming today to do that. Um, after that, if you feel like you want to stand in a line, you can stand in line to have your photo made. But if that's hard, you're welcome to just sit here until you're ready, until the line is cleared. You wave at your grandkids, they'll join you. Uh, you do, they do need to check out with you. So the teachers are going to be over here. They have some signs so that they, you know where to check them out. So you'll need to sign them out and then they are free to leave with you for the day. Something tells me there's gonna be chocolate involved with a lot of families this afternoon. So to feel free to take them to lunch, play checkers. They brought some things home from their classrooms that they can do with you, some questionnaires and some fun puzzles you can work together. And also, please know we would love to have had you in the building to see our new computer lab, to see their classrooms, but we just want to protect your health. And I feel like the Lord has given us a wonderful alternative for this year. Okay, is there anything else I need to say except thank you to our volunteers for coming and setting up cones and donuts and coffee. And a huge thanks to Mrs. Ward. I've said a lot. That's a lot of information to take in yeah, on a Friday morning on Grandparents Day. Okay, and thank you so much to Mrs. Tripp for the great program. Those were wonderful. Right. I'm going to pray to close us. Thank you for coming today. We appreciate the legacy you're giving your kids. I cannot think of a more important thing than for grandkids to be in a Christian school in this day and age. So we are so <laughs> grateful for the support that you're giving to these families to make sure that they can be here. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you so much for this beautiful day. I thank you that the enemy and COVID and everything else going on in the world could not stop you being praised today. I thank you for these beautiful children that you thought up and you created unique to each family. I thank you for these grandparents who are involved in the lives of your grandchildren. I pray, pray that you would bless that relationship. Pray you'd give them a great day with their grandparent. And Lord, most of all, we pray that if any do not know you as a personal savior and, and have never taken the opportunity that this would be the day. What a special day to do that. 
thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for these volunteers. Thank you for the fun we've had today. And we bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.